a certain amount of tax is levied on some commodity to discourage its sale is called excite tax okay so yesterday i told you that <clears throat> government imposes tax on uh, something like whiskey okay so so some amount is declared as a tax on that commodity the commodity is say whiskey okay so that people get discouraged and the sale will automatically fall down okay that thing is called as what that thing is called as <coughs> excise tax okay now what we will do is we will try to uh, solve one simple problem and see how the how excise tax actually works out so let me take one example the demand set plus 5p equal to 40 and uh, 2q minus the supply set is 2q minus 15p is minus 20 okay if an excise tax of rupee 1 is levied the sale of commodity <clears throat> find the equilibrium point and comment given dns equilibrium point is d intersection is so this means equilibrium point e which is q star p star which is 24 okay this means When price is P4, the quantity sold in the market is rupees two is twenty units. Means for four rupees, people are going to buy twenty units. And at this point, demand and supply are going to be <coughs> the same. Okay. So this is the situation before the tax is imposed. Okay. Now, impose tax of rupee one. tax imposed demand set or demand does not change <clears throat> what changes then the point of view from supply changes okay but supply set changes
how the supply side changes let us see for the supplier now suppose i am a supplier okay now i am going to before the taxes were imposed i was selling the article or i was selling the commodity at 50 rupees now what will i do now i will not sell the uh, the commodity at 50 rupees but i will sell the price to the customer at only 49 rupees because he is going to give me one rupee extra okay so actually so that one rupee is going to be counted from the customer because because we know that government has imposed one rupee tax so that one rupee the customer is going to give me so the price of my commodity instead of becoming for uh, instead of being becoming 50 rupees will now become 49 rupees so i will sell him the commodity at what price at the price 49 rupees and one rupee extra he is going to give me so automatically i will get my 50 rupees okay so so what happens when the government imposes a tax uh, in viewpoint of the supplier what changes the price of the commodity falls down by that much amount if the if government expo, uh, if if government imposes a tax of t rupees this means that whatever i'm selling i'm going to sell it for 50 minus t rupees because those t rupees the customer is going to give me and i will get my exactly 50 rupees again back for the commodity so when taxes are applied or imposed the supplier set will change and in that supplier set the price is going to be replaced by what p minus t for the supplier the price is replaced by replace as follows what is that replacement P is going to get replaced by P minus T, where T is tax. Because the reason is very simple because price is nothing but P minus T plus T. This is the selling price. Of the supplier. And this is a tax. From the customer. So finally, P remains as it is, but what is going to happen? The selling price of the supplier is going to change. And this change we are going to do in the supply set. So what is the supply set? But supply set is what? What is given to be the supply set in our example? 2Q minus 15P equal to minus 20 becomes 2Q minus 15 P is going to get replaced by P minus T equal to minus 20. How much is the tax in this problem? In this problem, the tax T is 1. So this means it becomes 2Q minus 15. P minus 1 is minus 20. This becomes the new supply set. So this is equation number two. The demand set has not changed. So the demand set will remain as it is. What is the demand set? The, we have written here that demand set does not change. So the demand set will be same as it is. And demand set remains unchanged. What is that demand set? 
it is Q plus 5P is equal to 40, which is equation 1. Now we will solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. <clears throat> so I have Q plus 5P is 40. Second equation is 2Q minus 15P is equal to minus 20 plus 15 because that minus 15 and plus minus 1 has become plus 15. On the other side, it will go and become again minus 15, right? So minus 15. So this means it is Q plus 5P equal to 40 and 2Q minus 15P minus 35 let me multiply the first equation by 3 so if i multiply the first equation by 3 i'm going to get 3q plus 15p if i go wrong somewhere please tell me okay is uh 120 2q minus 15p is minus 35 so, this means the after the tax is imposed, let me write it okay. After tax is imposed, the equilibrium point is Q star P star is seventeen and 4.6 so before tax and after tax after tax it is 17 and 4 point okay so do you now understand what has happened all of you see when before tax was imposed the price of the article was how much four rupees and after tax of one rupee was imposed everybody of us thought that the price should become from four rupees it should become five rupees but it has not become five rupees it has only become what 4.6 rupees okay and quantity before tax was in the market people were purchasing 20 items but after the tax what has happened only 17 people are purchasing the product so what has happened so government's policies is done government's policy is successful that what government wanted they wanted to discourage people right so three people have got discouraged because of that but what we thought is that if it is four rupees the after tax the price of the article should become five rupees but that has not happened that has become what 4.6 so comment so what is the comment because of tax Quantity sold has reduced by three. How this three came? Twenty minus seventy. Increased price is zero point six. How the zero point six came? Four point six minus four. So, 0 0.6 rupees is increase in the commodity, in the price although tax is rupees 1. It means that whenever government imposes a tax, that tax 
is not completely paid by the customer a part of it is paid by the customer and a part of it is paid is paid by the supplier so so whenever government imposes a tax it is not the situation that the supplier becomes happy okay it means that the supplier is also going to lose some money from his side to the government and the buyer is also going to lose some money from his side so how much component of me if 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 i say this is 100 rupees means if i talk in percentage if the government imposes tax of 100 rupees 60% is paid by the customer and 40% tax is paid by the supplier okay the remaining 0.4 rupees is paid by the supplier so conclusion is that not all tax is paid by the customer a part of it is also levied on the supply 